Hey guys, Jake Roy back here with 90s B-Ball cards. Um, we're going to open another box. We've got a box of 99 2000 Tops Series 1. This is a kind of a basic to uh, Tops type of product, uh, really getting to the end of the 90s. So there's some, some cool things we can get in here, uh, something that if we pull would be new to me. And um, it's going to be a little bit different than 98-99. Hopefully we get as lucky as we got with the 98-99 if you've seen my prior videos. Pulled a Jordan Round Ball Royalty Refractor, which was a phenomenal pull. So that would be awesome if we get another great pull. So I'm just going to go quickly through some of like the more rare things that we could get before we get into unboxing the stuff here. Um, so one of the first things that we could get, it's a parallel, I believe. It's called uh, Topps MVP Promotions, um, which are serial numbered to 100. I don't think I've ever actually seen one of those cards. So if we pull one of those, I'll be really excited. Um, so that's a really rare card to get though. So I, I'm not expecting to get it in 36 packs here, but it would be awesome if we could get it. Um, a couple of the other things that we could get, we could get an autograph card from Topps, um, also extraordinarily rare. So again, not expecting that. Um, some other things that are kind of more basic, highlight reels we should get two of or so. Um, there should be a box topper in here, a jumbo card. Um, based on the age of this box, I'm expecting it's probably going to be in pretty rough shape, but we'll see uh, what it looks like when it comes out. And um, it could be a fairly decent player. Um, we'll see. We'll see what we get, um, or you guys will see what we get also with us live. A um, couple other things that we could pull. Uh, season's best. We should be getting a couple of those prodigies, which are actually really cool chromium-looking cards with some die cuts. Um, we could get. Uh, a refractor, just like the Ryan Ball Royalty. We should get one Prodigy in the box, but the refractor would be obviously extraordinarily uh, rare in this box, but maybe we get lucky again with you guys watching. Um, so those are some of the exciting things we could pull. Of course, there's Seasons Best and, and a whole litany of other things that we could get. I'm gonna get the Beckett out of the way and not bore you guys with that. Um, talking a little bit about this year. So in this year, the rookies, the top few rookies, Elton Brand was the number one pick. Uh, Steve Francis was was one of the hype guys. Uh, you've got Lamar Odom, Baron Davis, Wally Zerbiak. Um, I believe right now the top priced rookies in 2018 um, are Elton Brand, Steve Francis, and Baron Davis. Um, back when we would have gotten this in 99, 2000, it would definitely would have been Steve Francis. So we're not going to... Um, can't talk any more about those details. We're going to get right into busting open the box. So again, like always, I don't have any sort of a paper towel here. I've got my trusty penny sleeves for anything that I get that's a good pull. And I've got some top loaders again for anything that's, you know, extraordinary. And then just going to be careful cutting open through the cellophane. And, uh, and here we go. You saw we had a nice picture of Gary Payton on the front. Um, it's always interesting to me who some of these card companies pick to be kind of their front man on these things. I know for a while, Fleer and Skybox used Keith Van Horn, which is kind of a, a funny, funny guy to pick. Let's see if I can get this open gently. All right. Hey, this is good. So you guys can see right here, that's how it comes. Vince Carter, box topper, that's the jumbo that I was talking about. It actually looks like it's not in bad shape. Um, so definitely if we pulled this in 99, 2000, Vince Carter, uh, would have been having me jump for joy. Right now, obviously, I'm still pretty excited. I like Vince Carter quite a bit, as you may have heard in some of my prior videos. So let's see what we get here. There's going to be 11 cards. So I'm going to go through it kind of quickly. And uh, you can see, again, just like the 98, 99, some of the colors are fading. And even on the back, you can see, you can actually see through some of the packaging. But none of it's coming off. We'll see how much sticking we get from the, the gloss finish. Uh, Brent Price, Mark Price's brother. Mark Jackson, phenomenal assist man. Jason Williams, white chocolate. He's uh, He's got quite a fan following right now. Uh, he's hot in the hobby. Eric Murdoch, he's kind of a bum. Dale Ellis, here we go, our first hit. Charles Barkley, Patriarchs. Those are really cool looking cards right there. You got a kind of a mirror reflective finish. Um, and it's in good shape too. You can see there's some sticking going on with the gloss finish, but nothing too bad. Rafe LaFriends, he was a nice draft bust. Right behind uh, his buddy Paul Pierce. Kenny Anderson, Lamon Murray, Grant Hill, not bad. Back in the day anyway, that would have been pretty exciting. Antonio Daniels, a guy that I liked and a fan favorite checklist. All right guys, so I'm going to, as usual, open the rest of these packs. 
We'll come back on top and see what other hits we got. We already got pretty lucky with the, the Vince Carter Jumbo and the Charles Barkley Patriarchs. So hopefully we get some more fire. Uh, you know, some Prodigy Refractors or uh, a Topps autograph would be awesome. So wish me luck. All right, guys, we're back. Just got done opening up all the packs. Um, not as exciting as the 98-99 box, but we did actually beat the odds in one case, so that's that's always good. Um, so you guys saw the box topper. You can probably see it in frame right there. Um, we did get duplicates of some of the stars that we'd be after. No Kobe's. Uh, we got three Shaqs. Um, we got four Iversons, which is one of my PCs, so that's, that's kind of cool. Um, we did get three Pennies, which is my main PC. That's, that's the guy that I really collect. Um, we got four Vince Carters, so back in 99-2000, definitely um, awesome. And actually, I think most of the Vince Carters got pulled in the same packs as the Shacks. So if we were opening a pack in 99-2000 and pulled a Vince and a Shaq, that'd be really exciting. You know, a few other guys, John Stockton, Carl Malone, Grant Hill, Jason Kidd, um, a lot of cool guys. Um, for those who like checklists, we got, in this box, one in every single pack. So we got 36 checklists, no shortage. An interesting thing with the packs that we did note, um, we got 11 cards plus a checklist. So it's almost like four fingers and a thumb type of thing. Um, 11 cards that would be insert base and then one checklist at the end of each pack. Um, for rookies, we did really well. Interesting thing, at the end of series one, there is one rookie, which is uh, kind of a bum, Cornell David. Um, it came in the same type of look as the base. It just says rookie card like a lot of Topps cards do right underneath the Topps logo. Um, those are essentially worthless. Um, and then we did get a number of lottery picks and other ones. We got two of the Elton Brand, um, so that was definitely good. He's one of the more expensive ones back in 99. And today, we got one Steve Francis. Uh, we got a Baron Davis. So those are the top rookies for value right now and some of the top rookies for value back then. Uh, Wally Zerbiak, Rip Hamilton. Um, we got Sean Marion. And we got the James Posey. So interestingly, all of those are technically short printed. Not sure what the short print is to. It's not like they're serial numbered on the back or anything like that. Um, and the Andre Miller and the Lamar Odom you can only get in Series 2. Whereas all of these guys are all in Series 1. So really good that we got two Elton brands. Um, you guys saw that we opened up the Patriarchs. Uh, Charles Barkley. So we're supposed to get one of those in a box. So we got that. Um, we got one Prodigy, which I was saying is a really cool card. So you can see how cool it is. We got a Matt Harpern. Um, this was his second year. Not an exciting one. Even though I'm a Magic fan personally, uh, this one did not get me too excited. I was really hoping for a better player. Um, no refractor like we got with a round ball royalty in the 98-99. Um, so that was it, was it was a disappointing pull. If you guys had seen me on camera, you would, you would have seen my disappointment with that. Uh, record numbers, we, we matched the odds. Got Carl Malone. We got Patrick Ewing, and we got Dikembe Mutombo, so all bigs, interestingly enough. Season's best, we got three of, which we, again, matched the odds on. We got Allen Iverson, so that's one that's exciting for me. Uh, Mike Bibby, who was definitely a hype player at that point in time. And we got a David Robinson. Staying true to Topps form with the season's best, you see how they each have you know different sort of themes um, for each type of player. That's something that they always did, you know, dating all the way back to, I believe, 95, 96, when they started the season's best sets in tops. Um, so that was kind of fun to see some of those different um, sets. And sometime later, we'll talk more about all of the different variations that tops had in this year, but um, those are just the three that we got in this box. And then we beat the odds um, on the Picture Perfect, which is not my favorite set, um, so that it wasn't too exciting for me, but we got the, uh, the Kevin Garnett, we got the Alonzo Mourning. We got the Tim Hardaway. Uh, Sharif Abdul Rahim and Kerry Kittles. So with the picture perfect, uh, the idea is that there's something in the picture, and I can show you pretty quickly with this one. There's something in the picture that's not perfect. There's something that's off or um, something that the tops changed. So in this one, you can see Kevin Garnett's got his away jersey. You got Dean Garrett here with his away jersey, and then you've got Bobby Jackson with his home jersey. All three guys were from the Timberwolves, so that was something that they changed. So the idea is it's something interesting that you can go through the picture and try to find what is off or what is missing in the picture. And then on the back, they have a little write-up, and you can go through the clues and and find out what's in that picture, what's not in that picture. So. Um, some people might find that interesting. It's not something that gets me too excited. 
but so that's what we got. Um, so for a box that if you're buying it on eBay, probably around the 20 to $30 range shipped, um, I wouldn't expect that it would be too much more. You could find it for less. Um, but if you, you know, tally up the value, we probably got our value back, but nothing in here that's a considerable hot seller. I mean, most of the things you're probably gonna sell for a buck or two a piece. Uh, the, sh the shacks are probably a buck a piece. So um, something that's probably gonna be a little bit more valuable uh, if you're selling or trying to flip it, if you'll just leave it sealed. Um, but because the rookies weren't too collectible, Steve Francis and Elton Brandon and Baron Davis, and because there's no Jordans and you saw we didn't pull any Kobe's, um, it's just a box that doesn't get a whole ton of value on the market and when you pull it, you're not gonna get a ton of value, but you can get lucky and get some refractors, get an autograph, um, so that's always cool because it's pretty inexpensive, 20 to $30 for a box of this age is not too much to spend. So, you know, you can run the chance and, and try to get something really nice. So. That's what we got. Uh, that's all that I have. If you have any questions or thoughts or your own experience with this 99-2000 Top Series 1, um, feel free to leave that down in the comments below. And as always, if you like what we do here on 90s B-Ball, or, or if you have something that you want to see, subscribe, uh, send us a message, and I'll be happy to get back to you. Talk to you guys later. Bye.